Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Colorado where a sovereign citizen was pulled over because of, well, no plates. What else is new with these freaking morons? Now, will it work in this particular scenario? Uh, well, let's go ahead and find out, uh, shall we? So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How's it going, officer? Why don't we come all the way back here? Um, I just wanted to park on some private property where I feel safe and comf and okay, safe and comfortable, sir. It was just, it was just strange. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I just, I just wanted to find the most uh spot, the a uh, parking spot where I felt comfortable. You okay. know, oh. where that. I was just wondering. I was like, where? Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't want it to make it seem suspicious or at all or anything like that, sir. Okay. Officer. Well, you obviously know the reason I stop you. There's no plates on the vehicle. I understand what you're gonna say. Do you have a driver's license? Okay, so it is to my understanding under the, it's been upheld by the Supreme Court and it's, it's uh, under the law of the land, under common law, that we have um, a God-given a God -given right to travel on the public highways, untaxed, without license, registration, or plates on a vehicle. As long as I'm driving pri privately, I'm not engaged in commerce, officer. I get you. Okay. Oh, so it's your understanding, which basically means you haven't done any research on this. You've just taken some other dumbass's word for it, huh? Well, uh, in the real world, you've got to uh, look up these things if you don't want to be, well, wrong about everything. I mean, just don't take anybody's word for it. Actually do your own research, look up the laws and everything like that. I mean, it'll be... Uh, much simpler for you in the long run. Okay, you know, I want to be calm and cordial and respectful Me to too. you. I don't want to be belligerent. I'm I don't want no problems, sir. Calm, cool, right, get. right. I don't want no problems with you, officer. All right, I don't want no problems. I got a, an idea for you, dude. How about instead of, well, being a sheep and following all these sovtards who, uh, well, want to lead you astray, how about you make up your own mind by going out and actually researching these laws and realize that, well, uh, yeah, you are indeed wrong about this crap, considering that the Tenth Amendment does grant the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and, uh, well, Colorado law... It comes as a result of that, and according to this statute right here, you are required to have a license plate on your vehicle. I mean, not driving. You see, this is legally terms. Yeah, these are legally terms. I'm traveling home. Um, I was from another location. I'm traveling home right now. I'm not engaged in commerce. This proper, this property right here, is not engaged in commerce. I'm not engaged in. Um, uh, I'm not traveling with any goods products i'm not an uber driver i'm not a taxi driver i'm not a bus driver i'm not engaged in any of that so i know and i know my rights to my understanding that i'm not required to have any license registration or insurance in order for me to travel from point a point to point b okay. it's been a god given right that's been upheld in the supreme court well i've got a question for you dude and uh well this comes from the florida uh dmvs why is it that they make a dis Distinction between a Class E license, which is the standard driver's license in Florida, and, uh, well, the CDL, which is a commercial driver's license. I mean, if you only needed a license for driving in commerce, then why the hell does the Class E exist? And, it, and why is it so different from the uh, actual CDL, which is an actual commercial driver's license? Can you answer that one for me? I'm the law of the land, and if you want to press charges with me, officer... Listen, I'm just I just thought because you had no plate. Yeah, I know. I, I completely understand. You break your, you break I, your, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've been... Do anything crazy. No, no, right. I, and I, I'm out here no, and I, I, DUI right. I, and I completely respect you that you haven't made it jump to any conclusions because I've already had this experience many times with many other officers, and my experiences have not been pleasant. Well, no 
Oh, shit. Well, I bet they haven't been pleasant because you seem to be, well, uh, an incompetent sheep following the gurus who don't know jack shit themselves. And uh, which leads me to another point that, uh, from what I understand, you have a appointment with the judge here in the next few days as a result of this garbage. So, yeah, uh, you're going to have to fight it in court, and if you're going to go pro se, I have a feeling you're going to be laughed at in court when you try to struggle through your uh, arguments like this with the judge. Yeah, that'll be something to behold. So I'm just trying to artic articulate myself to the best of my abilities, okay. and I want to demonstrate to you that I'm a uh, um, I don't think I'm above the law. I know that as long as I'm not creating any loss, injury, or harm, or I'm not in a danger to the public, and I'm not doing anything bad, and I have, I'm not, I'm not, I, there's no evidence of me in a commission of a crime, or a bad commit a crime, or, uh, or ain't no evidence of me committing a crime. I know as, as, if, as long as there's nothing of that sort, I know that I'm fine, and as well with my rights to travel from point A to point B, officer. Well, that's an interesting little argument you got right there, but it's a shame that it's completely such a stupid one to begin with, because, oh yeah, you are committing uh, crimes at this moment by not following the law in the state of Colorado. Well, not major crimes, but a crime nonetheless. So let me ask you something, Soft Hard. Uh, you say you're not going to hurt anybody, but you are in a vehicle, and accidents happen. What if you run into somebody and you have no insurance? Well, I'm sure you don't have any insurance, but you don't have any insurance to cover the damages to people or property. Well, you would be up shit creek without a paddle because somebody's got to be compensated for the damages to property and people. And if you don't have insurance, that... uh compensation is going to come out of your pocket. Do you understand how that works? I hear you. But do you also understand where our beliefs are different? Not our beliefs, but our my requirement to enforce the law and your beliefs on how you interpret the law. Right? Well, I mean... I, 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 you, you probably been in, ran into this a bunch of times. Right? Driving around with no plates. I'm just saying, I have a thing to do, just like you are uh, saying that you understand the law one way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at, the law uh, yeah, at the, I mean, at the end of the day, the thing is, what do you want to do here? Because I want to talk to you as a man. Right. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to act like this. Uh, the suit that you have on is creating any kind of clout or judgment. I want to talk to you respectfully. You're not a man. You're a spoiled, petulant, little, soft, tarred brat of a child who thinks that he is above the law, but is actually not. And it is a shame that you drive on the roads without a license, insurance, registration, or anything like that, putting everybody else at risk because you think that you know better than everybody else when you are a complete dumbass. So it's to my understanding, and I have continued to do it, and... If you, if regardless, if you want to put some charges on me, I will end I up. I, I'd rather not write you a ticket. Yeah, if, yeah, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want no, I don't want no harm done to nobody. I have no ill will intent. I'm in so good faith, you clean love, hands. You love it with me. Okay. Um, what, what did you want to ask, name? officer? What did you want to ask, officer? Can I get your name and date of birth? Run your VIN. If everything's clear, I'm gone. Okay, now I've had I already had many bad experiences uh, okay. giving you. I mean, giving officers my name. Okay. And when I say my name, I do understand that nowadays y'all like to use uh, our legal fiction name and put liens against that name, which is a public charge. Are you stupid or something? And you know that way that takes a lot of time, energy, and a lot of quote unquote. A labor out of my time and day and it's depleting me and it's wasting and draining me and I understand yeah. that this is all a, a business game this is nothing strictly business nothing personal I completely understand that I I I would prefer not to provide you any form of identification but if is it if it isn't horrible I've left the VIN uncovered mm -hmm. you can run the VIN number this car is not stolen 
I have no problem with you so running the VIN number. To you? This is private property. I no, purchased it. Saying, has it ever been registered before? No, I uh, I have not registered it. Okay. So I've maintained it in uh, private means. Okay. For private means. I have not registered it. I have not gotten licensed for it. Okay. And I, I'm not in no contract with the state of okay. Colorado to give you jurisdiction. I don't have... Uh, a, I don't need... I don't even want to say I don't have a license, but I don't have that contract uh, for y'all to subject me to that. Oh, you think they don't have jurisdiction over you? Well, just wait a few days and uh, you'll see when you skip out on your court date that uh, when your arrest warrant is issued and they come to get you, you'll find out otherwise, dude. So uh, you're more than welcome to run the plates. Okay. I mean, not the plates, the VIN number. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Um, this car's not stolen. I purchased it privately. Other than that, I feel very um, uncomfortable providing my personal information, especially if I know that it will be used against me it in the court of law, it will. especially with all the bad experiences that I have with um, policy enforcement. Um, I just feel very comfortable not I'm providing not really information. I'm anything, but I have to figure out who, not, who is driving the vehicle. And, and that's and the I thing. I understand you're saying you're not driving? Yeah, this is not a vehicle. It is a vehicle. No, a, a, a vehicle is classified as somewhat a uh, property engaged in commerce. This property is not engaged in commerce, officer. Okay, this is an automobile. Can't you get anything right, you smooth brain crown munching freaking moron? Uh, according to Black's Law Dictionary, which I'm sure is your reference guide, if you even bother to read it at all, uh, it says that an automobile is a vehicle so why don't you try using your head for something other than a freaking doorstop it, it, it was first considered an automobile and once yeah. people decided to register it it became a motor vehicle so this is not a motor vehicle i um classify this as an automobile okay. private transportation through private means no it's okay it's okay and um so is to my okay a little longer than a few minutes later all right i'm not even going to try to push this issue all right you're driving with no plates it's a simple 25 dollars ticket if i were to ticket you i'm not going to sit here you have your beliefs we have our laws we have to enforce we're just going to put it as what is it agree to disagree agree to disagree party. The reason I stopped you was you had no plates, okay? That's uh, the reason for the stop. There's my card. Got it. All right. Look your turn. You have a good day. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Thank you, officer. Well, it's a shame that he got away from this one with uh, very few consequences to his actions. But hey, there's always the court date that's coming up, and well, I can't wait to see how that turns out. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?